You are listening to 107.5. SMIT. You live. We are going to be broadcasting the weather. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm out in, um, in, um, where am I? Oh, I'm in Illinois. Now, the weather appears to be, um, bright. What's the word for that? Sunny, sunny, sunny. It's sunny out here in Illinois. Now, one thing especially nice about this weather is if you look up in the cloud, you can see a cloud that looks just like a dog. So if you are out in Illinois in a sunny day and you look up in the cloud, see if you can see that one that looks like a dog. It is oh, so thank cute. You. Thank you. First of all, we will be hearing from Carol on following Carol over. We'll bring you Dr. Doctor Talks Doctor. With, with Dr. Doctrines. You are listening to 107.5 SMITH. Now for a message from some of our sponsors. Overpriced books. One time I went to Overpriced books and got a book that was over twice the amount it was, it was supposed to be. It was so cool. Come on down to Overpriced books and you can use a classic novel like Calvin and Hobbes for only $22. Greasy bones, greasy bones, come on down to greasy bones. If you pay us $40, we might even give you some meat. Greasy bones, greasy bones, come on down to greasy bones. Come on down to your local Johnny's Fast Food. It's the best place on the block. It, it is guaranteed to have more grease than even greasy bones. Ooh. Come on down to your local fast Johnny's Fast Food. Even though there's only one in the whole world. But you should come on down there. They have the best food. And if you pay us an extra we may even give you a bun with it. We are seven. The rock star energy drink. It when you give it to a patient. Look at the it makes camera them think a rock star. Here is a very tired patient. <laughs> Stinky feet. If you have a cure for a little girl with stinky feet, please call it now. May I ask who's calling? Uh, Anna Smith. Anna Smith. Nice to have you on the show, Anna Smith. Well, have you a cure for a little girl with stinky feet? You could wash her feet with soap and water. Wash her feet with soap and water. Studio assistance. This cure is being tested. Oh, I'm sorry. Your cure did not work. The feet are still stinky. <gasps> Yuck! May I ask who's calling? Yes, it is me. It's Stinky Feet Incorporated. Stinky Feet Incorporated. Nice to have you on the show, Stinky Feet Incorporated. This is your cure for a little girl with stinky feet. Well, you see, as owner of Stinky Feet Incorporated, we sell a special product guaranteed to cure stinky feet. It only costs $69.95 plus $5 shipping. You simply must order it from our company. And if anyone out there has stinky feet, simply call in at 255-369-1234. Um, you know what? I'm really sorry to break this to you, but this show is not an avenue for marketing. And so unless you have a cure that can be tested with stuff you have at home, including a self hypnotism kit, then you will have to wait and give the person the cure after the show is over. May I ask who's calling? This is the boss. The boss. Nice to have you on the show, Mr. The boss. What would be your cure for a little girl with stinky feet? Well, I would say that you don't need to cure her stinky feet. You can actually use those stinky feet as a defense mechanism. Just bring the little girl into your house and then if any policemen or people tried to come arrest you, they'd be scared off by the stinginess. Ah, oh, well, that, that's very good use for stinky feet, but we're looking for a cure for stinky feet. May I ask who's calling? Amputation geologist. <laughs> Amputation geologist? Geologist? No, there is something. 
Dr. Michael, look at the camera. <laughs> well, anyway, look at as the amputation geologist, uh, that's a very interesting field of work in which you work, so to speak. Uh, what would be up here for a little girl with stinky feet? Well, this girl has a special kind of stinky camera. feet, which happens the only way you can get rid of them is to amputate her feet. Amazing! A die at home without seeing a patient. Well, don't you think that's a bit draconic? We don't want to chop the people's feet off. We want to make them smell better. <laughs> May I ask who's calling? Yeah, this is Harold from Wyoming again. Nice uh, to have you on the show, Harold. Yeah, he lost me on draconic. What in the world is that? Is that like Dracula? Precisely. It stands on the root word Dracula and the rootless word Alconic, meaning that you will be acting like a silly vampire if you do something of that importance. Wow. I guess I won't do that then. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. May I ask who's calling? This is Dr. Doolittle. It sounds like your patient has a rare case of sticky feet dosis. I think what you need to do is come to my my hospital and buy my $500 product that will fix the stinkiness. Oh, I'm sorry, doctor, but as we remarked beforehand, this is not an avenue for marketing. So, unless your care involves things which are readily available at home, including and not limited to a self-hypnosis kit, then, uh... Newsflash! We have stopped all of the programming to give you this very important message. You know, I'm just thinking, Ozarka is the best water. So all you listeners out there, we can refresh the unrefreshed. You will need to refrain from promoting such offers on the air. May I ask you something? <laughs> the little girl with stinky feet. Oh, uh, hello there, little girl with stinky feet. Well, what would you want to care for your uh, stinky feet? I just want to... I want to make sure you get a cure and, and not amputate my feet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't worry. To do so would be Transylvania. Um, may I ask who's calling? Yeah, it's Carol from Wyoming again. You got the best show on the radio right now. Well, thank you. I'm glad you think so. I think so, too. That means we agree. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Hey, I just remembered something that my uncle Joey told me once that there's this stuff called soap you can buy out at the grocery store. Uh -huh. I've never had it before, but I hear it's supposed to work really well for sticky feet. Soap, huh? We're yeah. trying this cure. I can't recommend it, but I hear it's good. Studio assistant, go fetch some soap. We are now packing the little girl's feet with 500 pounds of soap. <laughs> Congratulations! Your cure worked! Temporarily. You are listening to 107.5 SMITH. Now for a message from some of our sponsors. Come on, down. Come on down to your local Johnny's Fast Food. It's the best place on the block. It, it is guaranteed to have more grease than even greasy bones. Ooh. Come on down to your local fast Johnny's Fast Food. Even though there's only one in the whole world. But you should come on down there. They have the best food. And if you pay us an extra 50 bucks, we may even give you a bun with it. For over the past two years, Linda Cohen has voted Democrat on every major decision in the House. She has repeatedly gone back on her promises. And, quote, would like to see Texas turned into a social infestation. However, running against her this year for mayor is just in time. Just in time is a solid Republican. He has grassroots. He knows what people want. And he is everything you can possibly want in a politician. Vote for just in time. Overpriced books. One time I went to Overpriced books and got a book that was over twice the amount it was. It was so cool! Come on down to Overpriced Books and you can get the classic novels like Calvin and Hobbes for only $22. Come on down to Jimmy Jones Fast Cars! At least one out of the worst cars is guaranteed to work! We are selling the Rockstar Energy Drink. It 
when you give it your attention. Look at the camera you You're a rock star. Here's a very tired patient. <laughs> You're listening to 107.5 SMITH. Now live with Doctrinal Talk with Dr. Doctrine. Here we are. Welcome, Dr. Doctrine. How are you today? What? Today, on Dr. Doctrine, Doctrinal Talks with Dr. Doctrine, we'll be reading, continuing the series, My Heart, Christ's Soul, by Robert Lloyd Munger. Please join us. Sit back in your chair, pour yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and relax, and let these words speak to your heart. You are listening to 107.5. S-M-I-T-H Broadcasting here, right from your car We have come to tell you some pretty bad news Sovereign Grace, Music, Switchfoot, Leland, and 10th Avenue North Have been caught up in a layover in Minneapolis <laughs> And because they can't fly to Hawaii where, due, to the hurricane. due to the hurricane so we will be listening to The Swiss Family Robinson by Jonathan David Weiss, read by Frederick Davidson. <laughs> 